Okay, so let's go find a home for our bat house. Okay, so how about we head to over to this area where we sometimes climb the tree. Our students were divided up into groups based on interest and there ended up being three different groups connected to animals. Um, there was a group that was quite interested in building animal homes and from that we started exploring what were the local animals in our area and who would need our help. It was a video by the Earth Rangers that actually ignited our learning. So the students started exploring the Bat Rangers video and discovered that with their help, they could make a difference. So they looked into what was it exactly that was affecting the little brown bat. That led them into exploring, is there not something that scientists can do that they could spray into caves um, to stop this fungus from growing? That is an area that researchers are looking into and we talked to experts at a university and um, scientists are certainly exploring that area. It then led the students into um, thinking, well, maybe we can do smaller things, like raising awareness of um, what is happening to the little brown bat. They also um, decided that we could actually build bat houses um, and give the bats an alternative location and create a, habit a habitat for them in which they could um, survive and continue to thrive. Um, and then we discovered that a community contact, a local golf course, was having some bat issues in their area and they offered to take the bat houses for us and that would be helping their initiative in um, helping with the environment as well. Did you know that the brown bats were dying? Our whole class was worried about the little brown bats. Once I saw the bats were dying, I had to look something up and see what I could do. They really wanted to raise awareness about what is happening to the little brown bat. That was one of their number one goals. And they had initially thought that perhaps putting a clip on our board website for our school board and for our school um, was a great step. And we were extremely excited that instead of just doing that, that this opportunity arose where they could make a public service announcement and tell many, many people what is happening to little brown bat. We are the bat and we hope you What are they taking with them? Life skills forever. So they are able to research and look into a website and see, is this seem valid? Does this seem like this is something that's possible? Um, they're not going to take that first uh, website and take it as truth. They're going to investigate further and see um, over multiple websites or maybe they're going to call an expert in that area and they're going to ask really great questions that they're really wondering about, um, that they've researched about but they're not sure if that's true fact or not. Um, their initiative, their assertiveness, um, their perseverance to continue with the task are skills that are going to take them on forever. And it's sort of stepping back and letting the students take the lead, but at the same time you're so deeply involved and you're just as excited to come to school as the students are that day. Um, you know at the end of that learning day you're going to have new goals and initiatives to perhaps look into that night or over that week, and the students can't wait to go home that evening and talk to their parents about it. And the contact and communication between your parents is all so positive and it's pushing the learning further from all sides.